Very good. This is a family, uh... But it, it, I wouldn't call it an audition. Um, not that one. Um, I pretty much knew it right away, and I think he did too. I'll run back the tape of what this boss is saying. Sorry, sorry, can we take that again? <clears throat> it doesn't sound like what Bond would say. Well, if it's, in the, it's, 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 if it's in the book, it's probably what Bond would yes, say. Yes, but I don't think Ian went to actually say James Bond gave a deep, relaxing sigh. His eyes came back into focus. He looked at his watch. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Can we do this another time? I've read the book myself, you know. I, I totally understand. Bond is me. Get our heads together and figure out what's next. Now, I want to give these guys a good time. I think it's I think it's good. I'm looking forward to it. health issues and my inner ear, <laughs> very embarrassing, you know, inner ear, well, I'd rather not. Did you, did you tell either one of my producers that this guy had health problems? Uh, I can't be held responsible for just, uh, I, I don't even speak to Bainbridge anymore. I'll speak to him. If there's any uh, dealings, I'll go through you. But I, I'm not even comfortable with you speaking to him anymore. I mean, it's not, it's just, and, and definitely don't speak to the producers. And email me that list of uh, Scaramangas. Because I don't have a villain yet. There's a contract. No more even, don't even speak to the producers. Don't even, like, fucking speak to them. I mean... Is that a dog barking in the back there? Yeah. Oh, that's not nice. I had a dog once. Such a nice dog. Yeah. Not, not really. Yeah, but it's not relevant. I'm telling him to miss all his doctor appointments, uh, not leave the house okay, if necessary. I'm tell you, but I tell everyone else, okay? Okay. <laughs> based on the novel so that well why not the, uh, I come from the theater you know and uh, I believe if I improvise it'll make a much better as far as movie. scripting goes it's pretty tight actually I was on a show one time that improvising was just 
That's all we did was from uh, page 87. See, now this is somebody else's lines, though. It's not my lines. What's that you're writing? Uh, Scaramanga character. If you want to start up with that. What's that you're writing? Let's see. I left a woman waiting. I met her sometimes later. She said your eyes are dead, lover. And since she spoke the truth to me, I answered rather crudely. Whatever happened to my eyes happened to your beauty. I'm not using that bathroom, Derek. What's wrong with that bathroom? It's just not suitable for someone of my character. Okay, okay, turn it off. Because you'll notice that someone like Bond, okay, is, uh, <laughs> he was born to wear a tie. Okay, now what I'm about to show you is a very good old-fashioned British knot. It's called the Windsor. The Windsor knot. Do you think it's wise to take it upon yourself to start filming scenes for this film without actually having the lead actor's medical done, as Scott McGuffin insists? <clears throat> well, it's not the worst thing I've ever done, to be perfectly honest. Um, it's something that's going to get done. Either way, I mean, everybody screws everybody in this business, so a little white lies. It's complicated in, in series. Uh, first, the first goes over, second goes in, like this, at a, at a 45 degree angle, you see. I mean, it's not like he's not going to see a doctor, he just hasn't seen one, he hasn't seen one yet. And then we turn around, one, for the money, two, for the show. It's actually great bridge there. I'm uh, not afraid to lose myself. I'm not sure if that's actually um, in regards to the role or uh, his personal life. And a tie makes the man. And Bond, my friend, would wear a Churchill. Cut. Any any pre-stage jitters? No. Cold feet? I'm a professional, Derek. You know that. Come on. To the scene. Okay, let's go and cut this, please. Scott McGuffin started counting his money when this is all said and done. I don't think he'll be complaining too much. Great cut. Uh, yes, out of my way, please. Thank you. Please. Pretty smooth going. I mean, come on, camera crew. But yeah, yes. <laughs> Derek, I'm Bond. It's, it's here. I'm, I'm vibrating, uh, actually. Uh, Derek. I must use the John. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, jeez. Um. Oh. Are you all right? I need my mummy. Too many cameras. Uh, I, I don't know. There's, there's too many cameras. He, it, I think that's probably what caused his ear infection. Well, from um, what I understand is, is he loves cameras. The, the day I met him, he he just went on and on about the life and, and how into the life he is. The, I mean, the life for him is cameras, basically. I mean, is he a, is he a professional or isn't he? Is or am I working with like a fucking amateur here? He assured me that it wasn't going to be a problem, and just he just kept saying, "Give me a shot, give me a shot, and you'll see that that everything will be all right." Okay. I want you to put yourself in his position. You're sitting down. There's cameras everywhere. Who knows what country they're made in? They're bright. They're everywhere. They could cause harm. I don't see who couldn't end up with an ear infection. Is that comfortable with the documentary crew anymore. I mean, we're well into this production, so... I mean, we've had the documentary going, like, since before the production began. Well, maybe you're in the business of scaring actors, but I'm not. No, 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 that's that's it, not my it, method. You know, it, that's not I my guess. method. I'm, I don't think fear is, is a motivator here. I, I try to make people as comfortable as possible. There's nothing to do with... Uh, and being antagonistic here, there's, there's been none of that. He's been treated very fairly. Well, right now my client is in the green room, curled up in a little ball, crying like a 
Oh, Jesus. The, the only thing I can think of is, is a couple more points on merchandise. Because we're already looking at merchandise. We went into this with in, with the intent of having merchandise. Is there any way you could make the documentary about him? Well, to tell you the truth, it is becoming a documentary about him, and, and not in the most favorable of light. You know those plastic cards that uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken has where you put money on them? No. Is there any chance we could work a couple of those? I have a commitment to, to this man and his family. Uh, what's his name? I, I don't know why I keep forgetting his name. Jonathan. Uh, or KFC will take him out of his, his dressing room. Like, I don't know why you just didn't come out and say this earlier. Like, I don't understand what so all the trouble is about. You're basically <laughs> saying this is about fried chicken. Um, what are you doing, Jonathan? Derek, I'm going to my happy place. Just thinking of <clears throat> for you to come back to come back to work. Uh, I knew you weren't happy. Uh, you probably heard I got you a little piece of the merchandise. Yes. That sounds very enticing. And I, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, got you some chicken. The Colonel's chicken? Can you leave it in the kitchen? I can, yes. And, uh, I've been thinking and <clears throat> I'm thinking that you should probably actually see a doctor. I think I agree with you, Derek. About time. And maybe uh, have a couple of weeks rest too before we do anything else. That sounds good. Thank you. So I'll just, uh, I'll just leave this here. Thanks, Jonathan. Tulu. What am I going to do for next month's rent?